Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making my third SJSU Q&A because I've been getting a lot of questions about SJSU because people are deciding if they want to go there or not. So I have all the questions here and I'm going to try to answer as many of them as I can. But before I get into the questions, I just want to give you all a little bit of a background on me. I started at SJSU as a freshman in the fall of 2016. I'm currently a junior and my major is public relations and my minor is political science. And just as a disclaimer, everything that I'm going to be talking about is going to be from my perspective and my opinion. Your situation might not be the same as mine. You might not have the same experience as me. So now that's out of the way, let's get into the questions. I'm going to try to answer every single question except for questions about the dorms. I personally don't live in the dorms and I've never lived in the dorms so I don't really have any information about that. So I'm unfortunately not going to be able to answer any of those questions even though I got asked a lot of them. But I'm going to try my best to answer all of the other questions. So the first question is should I go to Admitted Spartan Day? I posted something on Instagram about Admitted Spartan Day and some people were asking me about whether it was worth going to or not. I'm personally really glad that I went. It's kind of what made me decide to go to SJSU. But I also didn't live that far away from SJSU at the time. It was only about an hour and a half bus ride away. So it wasn't that big of a deal for me to go. But even if you do live farther away, I do think it's still worth it, especially if you're not really sure if you want to go there or not. Actually going to the school and talking to students and professors there and seeing what it would actually be like to go to school there and potentially live there would be really beneficial. So I would absolutely recommend going to Admitted Spartan Day unless you're coming from out of the state or out of the country. I'm going to be tabling at Admitted Spartan Day on 7th Street with my work, Associated Students transportation solutions. So if you see me there, come say hi. I'm also probably going to be at the JMC open house. So if you're in journalism or PR or advertising, definitely come to the open house. The JMC open house really sold me on SJSU when I went to it. The next question, which I got quite a few times, is I'm a transfer and I need to take the WST. Do you have any advice? How hard was it? I personally took the WST the second semester of my freshman year and I got one point away from a waiver after not studying at all. It didn't seem hard to me, but I'm also a public relations student and I really love writing, so it might be different for you. As far as the format goes, it's just an open prompt that you get to answer. I think mine was, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? And then you have like 15 minutes to write an outline and then an hour or something to write the actual essay. So it's really not that bad. If you want to look up some practice prompts and practice a couple times, then you can totally do that. But I didn't find it difficult or stressful at all. It was pretty easy and straightforward, even though I was only a freshman. The next question is how do you make friends? I'm gonna answer this from two perspectives. You're gonna be living on campus, obviously you're gonna be around a lot of people, so it's pretty easy to talk to people and make friends there. But if you're commuting or living on campus like I am, my biggest bit of advice would be to join clubs and organizations on campus. I've met so many people through the organizations that I'm involved with, and you can also just talk to people in your classes. If you're coming in as a freshman or even a transfer, a lot of people are gonna be in the same situation as you. Everyone's trying to make friends. So just talk to people, try to start a conversation, be nice. The next question, which I've been getting so many times on some of my older videos is, is the orientation two days or one day? It's two days now, they just switched it back from one day. So it's the same as it was when I did it, but it's not the same as it was last year. I'm gonna make a whole new orientation advice video because people have been getting really confused, but it's two days now and you'll be able to stay in the dorm. So you won't have to worry about getting a hotel or anything like that. But if you are coming with family members then they will probably have to get a hotel. And they haven't put out a lot of information yet but i'll be sure to update you all in my orientation advice video the next question is is the parking as bad as people say it is i don't have a car so i don't drive to sjcu but from what i've seen it is really bad so i would recommend taking public transit if you can as i mentioned earlier in the video i work at associated students transportation solutions so if you need help with public transit feel free to dm me or comment down below i personally use a smart pass clipper card to get to school every day you can get one of these cards for three dollars and that covers all of the vta regular and rapid buses and light rails it's really great you don't have to pay for parking you don't have to pay for gas it's a really great way to save yourself some money from parking and gas and it's a great way to save yourself from stress from worrying about parking so that's a little plug for for the smart pass and my work, the next question is should I commute or stay in the dorms? This, this is kind of a difficult question because it kind of depends on you and your situation and your financial aid and everything like that. So if your parents are paying for you to stay in the dorms or if the government is paying for you to stay in the dorms, then I would say stay in the dorms. Otherwise, I think it's better to live off campus or live with family because you're just going to be saving a lot of money and in my opinion, it's just not worth taking on all of that debt. The next question is how hard is it to get classes? So this is kind of a hard question to answer because I think it really depends on what department you're in. I haven't had that many problems getting classes with my major or with my minor, but I did have some issues getting into general education classes. So what I ended up doing is I took some classes 
before I even started at SJSU at West Valley College, which is a community college near where I used to live. So that was really helpful for me. I took two science classes there and then I just transferred them. It was really inexpensive too. I think it was about $43 per unit at the time. So if you're worried about getting lower division GE classes, I would highly recommend taking them at a community college near your house. You can apply to community colleges online or you can just go to their admissions office. Just make sure that the classes will transfer to SJSU. So check with the community college and SJSU and make sure that the classes will transfer for the requirements that you want. Even if you have decided to go to a four-year university like SJSU, you can definitely still take classes at community colleges. They're a great resource. SJSU is a little bit annoying for transferring credits. You do kind of have to nag them, but they usually transfer, so it's fine. The next question is, is it possible to graduate in four years? Yeah, for me personally, it will be. I recently applied for graduation and I will be graduating in the spring of 2020, which is four years from when I started. But I think it really depends on what major or program you're in and how hard it is to get classes. And it also depends on if you decide to stick with your original major or not. A lot of times if you switch your major part way through, it can take a little bit longer to graduate. But I do think that it's possible, especially if you're sticking with your original major and you're taking an average of 15 units per semester. But if that doesn't end up happening for you, don't beat yourself up about it. So many people will take longer than four years to graduate. And what's important is that you get the degree in the end. So don't worry if it takes a little bit longer. Make sure that you're really in a degree program that you actually like and that you're learning because that's what college should be about anyways. The next question, which is kind of related is I got in for a major that I don't like. How do I go about switching that major? It kind of depends on if it's in the same department or not and what major it actually is. So I would suggest talking to the major that you're in and talking to the major that you want to transfer in and explaining the situation. And then when you go to orientation and register, I would suggest following the four-year plan of the major that you want to transfer into so that you'll have all the prerequisites and everything for that. Yeah, and then obviously explain everything to the advisors so that they'll let you do that. It can be hard for some people to switch majors, but it's definitely a possibility, especially if you're willing to work hard and do all the prerequisites and get the grades that you need to transfer in. I just want to wish anyone who's trying to switch their major the best of luck. I really admire people that decide to switch their major to do something else that they're more passionate about. It can be really scary, but I'm just so proud of each and every one of you. The next question is, what is going to SJSU like? What's the culture like? I think it's pretty typical California school. There's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of people from different backgrounds. And everyone is pretty open-minded and accepting. There's not a lot of Republicans. There's not a lot of Trump supporters. It's a pretty liberal place. There's some people that are really chill and laid back. There's some people that are really intense and competitive and trying to get straight A's and build their resumes in any way that they can. It's a pretty diverse school and you're going to be able to find people that you get along with whether they're similar to you or not. And the last question that I'm going to answer, which I probably answered before, is what is your favorite thing and least favorite thing about SJSU? My favorite thing about SJSU is the value. As far as colleges go, it's pretty cheap, especially if you're in-state. Most of the professors that I've had have been really great. I think it's just a really great value overall. It's the only school that I got into that I would be able to graduate from debt-free. So that's definitely my favorite thing about SJSU. My least favorite thing about SJSU, which you probably know if you follow me on social media, is the administration. There's a lot of bureaucracy and there's not a lot of compassion. Getting credits transferred, applying for graduation, doing things like that can be really confusing. And the administration seems to care more about their outward appearances than actually taking care of students. I didn't really want to end this on a negative note, but that's my honest opinion on SJSU. That being said, I do totally recommend going to SJSU. It was despite all the struggles that I've been through there. I don't regret going there at all. It's definitely the right choice for me financially and educationally education wise. Even though I live off campus in Cambrian Park, I still spend the majority of my time at SJSU because I go to school there and I work there and I absolutely love it most of the time. My experiences have been really positive and I hope that your experiences will be positive too if you decide to go there. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say in this video. I'll be in Canada when this is posted so I might not be able to reply back right away but I will reply to all of your questions when I get back. And if you ever have any other questions in the future or you need any help or anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. I really want to help you all out as much as I can and I want to give you all the advice that I would have really benefited from when I was just starting college. Hi, it's me from the future. I was just editing this video and I realized that I forgot to talk about what nonprofit I'm supporting this month. This month, I'm going to be supporting the San Jose Spotlight, which is an independent nonprofit news organization that does a lot of local political stories. I'm a really big fan of theirs. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me retweeting a lot of their stuff. So if you want to check them out, the link to their website will be down below. And also, please donate if you can and if you want to. Now back to the video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new one. Goodbye.